Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is another shot cut tutorial. And I feel like I couldn't I couldn't find this tutorial anyway, so I thought I would do it myself because I actually figured out how to do this myself. Um, but I, th I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet, so I decided to do this tutorial. So, looks at tutorial, uh, looks at, by looks at title. This tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to improve the quality of a video when you are done. So, I have this little quick two images with like a fade transition in between of two lines. So, or three lines technically, but two lines in image. So, basically, I'm going to show you um, transitions could be for a different video, but this video is not about transitions. Um, I can show you transitions in a different video, and it's actually pretty easy to find online, but that's not what we're doing. Here, we're trying to increase the quality of this video. So, normally, when you're done editing or doing whatever, you would hit export, then you hit YouTube or default. If you're up uploading it to YouTube, or, um, it, or if you're uploading it to YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, or well, not Snapchat, uh, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, I would use default or YouTube. YouTube by itself doesn't have very high quality videos. So if you're uploading it to YouTube and you know when you hit the cog wheel and it says 720p, let's say you want more, uh, you want a higher quality um, option for your viewers if they have a better PC or phone or whatever. What you would do is you would go to YouTube, right? And you would go change this 55% to 85. I don't recommend anything over 85, else the quality will be better, yes, but then again, if you have it at 100%, all your computer's RAM will go into processing that video, so 85%, so things can process in the background. So if you, if you hit export it right now, it will work normally, like, see, let me, I just export it, uh, let me just do lion. Two. and let me export that and you see if I go to jobs uh, jobs it should yep so there we go you can see it will start exporting right now on the jobs panel now because it's at 85% quality you can see and I'm recording also I'm recording so we will also go a little bit slower if you're not recording then obviously you won't go as slow but you can see when it gets to 100%, check mark took 21 seconds. But if I put the quality down to 55%, run the exporting again, Lion 1. You can see it goes almost instantly and starts processing. The thing we want is higher quality. This is how you get higher quality. You can see it only took 8 seconds to process, not 21 seconds when it was at 85% quality. But this doesn't change. This changes the quality of the current quality that you have. So let's say it's 720p. This will just upgrade the 720p to a better quality. But it won't necessarily give them 1080p or 240 or whatever it is. Um, it won't necessarily give them that. This is how you do it. Settings and video mode. Video mode, you can do custom. I have my own custom YouTube and YouTube shorts for TikTok, YouTube, and stuff like that. And if you go to, this is what I recommend. If you have 720p videos, go to 1080p, 59.94 FPS. It is so close to 60 FPS. FPS that it won't make a difference and will 100% export 10 times faster. So I recommend going with that. But let's say you want 4K. You can see it's not on here. Um, 2160p is on here, and if you again go for the 59.954 FPS if you're going for that. But let's say you want 4K because you want really high quality and really good quality um, video. You would go to custom add and you can name this whatever you want so I'm gonna go 4k preset and I might even use this in the future so I'm gonna save it and you can see the resolution 
drop that down and you can see you can even go up to 5k depending on how your computer handles it you can go up to 5k which is insane but 4k is right here there's a 2.7k which i don't really get the point of i would just suggest to go for 2k or 4k but if you're going for regular 4k just stick with this like don't don't do the one higher but if you're going for because i would just say just go for this the first 4k and then upgrade quality 85 percent instead of going for that one and having your quality at 55 percent it's just faster to go with that it's just like it's a better option and then you could do 5k 85 percent and that's probably the highest you can go well the highest you can do is 100 percent 5k but then again all your ram is going to go to the quality making the processing and quality and can't process background apps so it will it your computer might as crash from overheating or it just might just cancel and have an error or something so i would suggest the biggest you could go for is 5k 85 percent quality um so yeah let, let me hit 4k i'm going for that one and then the aspect ratio this is basically if you want it like so like this is uh 16 um 9 is basically the size of my monitor the recording you can see the recording that's basically what it would be and then 43 i don't know what that is but uh 916 the one opposite that's vertical so that's if you want to create shorts this is a way of how you create shorts as well and then this is squares and stuff like that so i would only go for vertical and wide if you want to create tiktoks for those and then regular youtube videos for this so go for that this is like the 4K preset. And then again, when you create the custom ones, I also recommend to keep this at 59.94. Because then again, it will go faster. It's just the best way. Um, scan mode, progressive, and color space. I don't think that really matters, but I've never really tried to fool around with it. So I would suggest not doing that. Just keep it as it goes. And progressive is actually good. Um, for exporting so yeah since we have that i think i just made another video mode no i'm good so we have 4k preset youtube and youtube shorts if i click the youtube shorts one so you can see it will go to the youtube shorts so it will go to the um vertical um format like i showed you earlier that's what it would look like if you had a if you had a wide Thing in a vertical it would look like that but if you just had like a phone recording it would look like it would cover the whole thing so yeah that's good and uh, that's how you create um higher quality videos for um for youtube hope this uh tutorial was um helpful if it was hit like comment if i should do another shortcut tutorial if you need help with anything and i'll always reply to comments um so yeah guys see you guys in the next video bye